Although for a while it looked like the mid-sized truck market had disappeared, it's coming back and in a strong way. Ford is still rumored to be bringing back the Ranger. The new Ridgeline is making waves with its car-like ride, and GM has a hit on their hands with the Colorado and Canyon. Now GM has released details on new trim levels for the Canyon, as well as an all-new engine and 8-speed transmission for their two mid-sized trucks. But despite being all new, they aren't all that much different. Hey guys, Ken here with 4 Wheel Online. So before we talk about the new trucks, we've got a small favor to ask you. Hit that subscribe button. We put out a new video every Friday to keep you up to date with the latest in truck, Jeep, and automotive news. To start, let's talk about the GMC Canyon's new trim levels. First is the Denali trim that includes upgraded chrome exterior details like a chrome grille, Denali specific 20 inch aluminum wheels, a polished exhaust tip, spray on bed liner, automatic climate control, remote start, a Bose premium seven speaker audio system, forward collision alert and lane departure warnings, and then some extra USB charging ports for all your iPhones and stuff. So basically, it's a luxury package like you'd expect from the Denali trim. Now on the opposite side of the spectrum, you've got the All-Terrain X trim, which builds on the current All-Terrain package. Some of the features are Goodyear Wrangler Duratrac All-Terrain tires, upgraded suspension, transfer case shield, all-weather floor liners, hill descent control, remote start, and spray on bed liner. It's no Raptor, but it's worth looking into if you're interested in the Canyon. So let's get into the meat and potatoes of the announcements. The new V6 engine and 8-speed automatic transmission for the Colorado and Canyon. The new engine is said to be entirely different than the previously available V6, so let's go over the old versus the new. Both engines have an identical displacement of 3.6 liters. There is a 3 horsepower bump in the new engine, torque is 7 pound-feet higher, and miles per gallon is yet to be determined. It doesn't seem like that much of a change. However, new technological advances inside the engine like variable valve timing, improved direct injection, and cylinder deactivation are the largest upgrades. Those new features are likely to increase the truck's miles per gallon at least a little bit from its previous 21 miles per gallon combined average, especially when you pair it with that new 8-speed transmission. It's already being used in a number of vehicles, including the 2016 Camaro, and it does improve overall ratio spread from 6.0 to 7.0 when compared to the previous models. Now, why do you think GM has done such a large redesign of the powertrain when it's already one of the most fuel-efficient trucks you can buy? And what's your opinion on the new announcements? Vote right here in our poll and then leave a comment down below. But before you do that, make sure to subscribe to our channel, then thumbs up and share this video with all your friends. Until next time, I'm Ken with 4 Wheel Online, and you've just been refreshed.